Snapchat is back with version two of Spectacles, its sunglasses camera. This time around, they're water resistant, they take photos as well as videos, and the case is a lot smaller, so you're more likely to bring them around with you. Snapchat only sold about 220,000 pairs of its old spectacles because they were just kind of hard to have around. But even though they're still in a yellow bright case, the case is a lot smaller. It's more like purse fitting. It doesn't quite fit in your pocket, but it's definitely easier to bring around. The case also charges the glasses four times. What you'll notice when you put on the glasses is that the little bump in the back where all of the hardware is housed is a lot smaller, making the glasses feel lighter and more natural. When you put them on, they're actually quite comfortable, and with the little touch of the button on this left side, you'll see that the white ring of lights comes on, signaling that you're recording. If you tap and hold, you can actually take a photo now instead of just a video when you tap once. Spectacles will now come in a much more natural set of colors, a deeper blue, a deeper red, and black, instead of those crazy teal pastel colors like last time. And that means you're a lot more likely to actually want to put them on your face. Snapchat has put a lot of work into fixing the pairing process that was really clumsy before. Instead of a QR code, now you just press and hold down on the button while in the pairing mode in your Snapchat app, and they instantly pair together. Now all you do is hit the import button and it'll download all of your snaps off of your spectacles over Wi-Fi. You can see here that the quality is pretty high and the downloads are happening very quickly, about four times quicker than the time it took to download HD from Spectacles version one. Here you can see me riding a scooter along the pier in San Francisco. And Spectacles still shoot in that circular format, so no matter which way you turn your phone, it's always full screen. Spectacles claim that they can last almost a week with regular usage, and you won't have to download all of your snaps to your phone until after. And that makes it nice because you can leave your phone at home and just travel around with your specs. That's great if you're going to the beach or somewhere wet where you might not want to get your phone wet, but the Spectacles can actually take video and photos underwater. You don't want to dive to 200 meters like a diving watch allows, but going a few feet under the water is no problem. Because spectacles don't have that yellow ring right here, it's a lot harder to tell that they are actually cameras. Nobody when I was riding around seemed to notice that I actually was recording video of them. And that could be a problem for Snapchat. It managed to avoid most of the creepy privacy issues that plagued Google Glass in its first few years because people always knew that you were wearing camera glasses. There's nothing super revolutionary about version two of Spectacles, but they improve on so many of the pain points from V1 that I do expect them to sell better, people to record more content because they actually keep them with them, and for them to help Snapchat, maybe not just in the business side, but actually to get more interesting content onto the app that you're not gonna see on places like Instagram. Spectacles version two go on sale on April 26th in the US, UK, Canada, and France, and will be available in 12 more countries in a week or so. They're $150, and they're only available through Snapchat's website and app. No more of those Snapbot vending machines for now. But luckily, even if you just have V1, Snapchat is gonna push a firmware update so that everybody can take photos with their spectacles, not just V2 users. As long as the company doesn't endure a bunch of privacy scandals because people don't realize that they're a camera since they removed that yellow ring, I think these could be a big leap forward for Snapchat's hardware efforts.